Well, hello loves and happy Sunday to you. Look at these cutie patooties. So today I am starting with, I made some handmade tags just out of cardstock and I gessoed them. And then I've got a bunch of vintage papers that I'm going to be using. And there will be a coupon for these in the resource library and your subscriber email. I'm using two stencils, the Woodland Creature stencil and the Wildflower 2 stencil. So I've taken just the larger um, vintage papers and just cut out the pattern of my tag and um, place them down with some matte, deco art matte medium. I struggled a little bit getting them placed on there because I was trying to get them as even as possible. Um, it all works out in the end, but just putting everything down with some matte medium. And now that I've got the background pieces down, I am now putting the embellishments and different pieces down. And um, I put all of the papers down on this one and then realized, oh, I needed to, I, I didn't use my wildflower stencil, which was kind of part of the plan. And you'll see me stop midstream here once I realize, like, oh yeah, I forgot. These tags, um, the made up tags, will be free to you in the resource library as well. There's all kinds of good stuff in the resource library this week. So you'll see me here, I'm like, oh yeah, my stencil. <laughs> so I took those papers off that I was just laying down. The other ones were already dried. Um, and now I'm using my Wildflower 2 stencil and um, archival ink in coffee. I wanted kind of a brown, really subtle to match the background papers. Um, so I'm using it, um, the archi uh, archival ink in coffee and my fun new makeup brushes, which I love using. And I wanted this to be really subtle and to kind of fill in some of the blank spaces or add to um, just another element of interest to the tags. Now I'm back putting the papers down and back into the swing of things and um, I just uh, the flowers and the butterflies um, there'll be two cute there'll be a um, coupon for two collage packs and then there'll be some free papers um, like the butterflies and different things like that that will be available to you in the resource library. The postcards and some of the main bigger images are all part of a collage pack. And I'm letting the paper stick off the edges and I'll go back a couple of times and trim them back. So now that I've got all of the papers down and in their place, I'm coming back with the Woodland Creatures Rabbit stencil. And these, the, these stencils, all the Woodland Creatures stencils are on sale this week. Um, they're, they're already marked down in the shop, so you can grab them there if you want them. And I'm using Archival Ink in Black. So now I'm coming back in with a very limited color palette. I'm using Titan Buff, and these are all Deco Arts fluid acrylics. I'm using Titan Buff, Titanium White, Yellow Oxide, Raw Umber, and Quinacridone, or yeah, Quinacridone Magenta. And that's all the colors I'm using. I mix. I'm, I'm using a very wet brush and kind of watered down paint because it allows the the, the paper images to show through. It adds enough definition and pulls that focal image away from the background but still allows those papers to show through. 
and I vary the colors even though I'm using a limited color palette I vary the colors and depth with my Titan buff and my titanium white quinacridone magenta um, with some white and some Titan buff make up the pink in the ears yellow oxide mixed with white and a little bit of quinacridone magenta gives it kind of an orangey hue so there's a lot you can do with a limited color palette and some white or tight buff and mixed varying degrees of paint color so I'm just gonna fill in my rabbits and I'm highlighting some pinks around the eyes and the cheeks and really trying to give it some character Now, I need, now it needs just a pop of color for me. You could leave it just the way that it is for sure, but I wanted to add a little bit more interest, a little bit more play. And so I'm mixing quinacridone magenta and that yellow oxide and some whites in there. Titanium buff is a really soft, pretty color. Now I add in some um, avocado in just a Americana craft paint to kind of resemble some grass and earth and that kind of thing. Very, very simple and easy project. And yet it's, it's very dramatic, I think, when you add that pop of color and fun. One of my favorite colors is mixing that quinacridone magenta and that yellow oxide together that gives it kind of that orangey pinkish. I love that color. Now you'll see me add in just a tiny bit of teal. I was like, it's missing something. And of course, it had to be some teal in there. And this is, again, some fluid acrylic. Now some more fun and whimsy. Um, I just grabbed some bubble wrap and put some titan um, carbon black down and just played a little bit working in a triangle to keep the balance so that it doesn't feel too heavy in certain areas. And now I'm, sh I'm doing my final shading. And this is really what makes the, the bunny stand out, makes it um, really come alive because I can add the character and the depth and the shading with my charcoal pencil. It really pulls it away from the background because there's a lot going on in the background and it really makes it stand out. If I can fill in all of the blank spaces, add back in some of the whiskers and different things like that, shading to the neck and um, areas where you might naturally see some shading. Um, that all happens with my charcoal pencil and this is a General's Charcoal Pencil in Extra Soft.
So all the supplies that I'm using today are listed on the blog. The link to the blog is down below in the YouTube description box. It's also the link where you're going to find the resource library sign up if you want to get the coupons and all the free goodies. Um, I'm using a Sharpie marker now to add some white dots. I got to bring some of that white back in to just bring in a pop of color plus a little white to the eye to give it some um, make it come alive. Now I've just cut um, just a random piece of paper that I had in my my stash to fit the backs and of course I'm having problems matching them up again. And I'm putting those down with my deco art matte medium. I did spray the front of my tag with some SpectraFix to fix the charcoal so that it didn't move around as I was putting everything, the papers on the back, down. And now that I've got the papers down, I've trimmed everything up, and I'm coming back in with some shading with my archival ink in black. And that's about it, my friends. I'm going to add some ribbon that I've had forever in my stash. And um, just, I love this project. Super simple, super easy, springy, and fun. Stick around for all the details and info um, at the end here. And I hope your Sunday is awesome, and I will see you next week. Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. Look at these cutie patooties. Oh, my goodness, they just make me happy. Oh, springy and just ooh, everything. Um, these are going to go on some Easter baskets for the grandkids. So, so much fun with these. So, a um, couple things. Um, <clears throat> and I went over everything throughout the video, but... Um, the collage packs that I used, there were two different collage packs that I used in the backgrounds. Those will have a coupon and coupon code will be either in your email or in the subscriber resource library. So if you are a subscri subscriber, you will have those. If you are not a subscriber, you can sign up and get access to the resource library. And all the links, again, will be in the... Um, the link to the blog will be in the description box below and you can sign up there. Um, and then the bunny stencils, the actually the th I'm going to do the three woodland creature stencils which are the bunny, the fox, and the owl are 20% off um, for the next week and so you can get those if you would like and um, the coupon code again will be, or actually no, there won't be a coupon code for these. They're going to already be marked down. So you can grab those and um, I think that was, let me make sure <clears throat> I got the, okay. Yeah, I had to check my notes to make sure I told you everything. So um, nothing really um, deep today about these pieces that I'm going to actually put on here that um, I'm gonna put on here probably some bunny loves you uh -huh. I know it's it's totally corny and cute um, but I do want to just say how much I appreciate all of you um, for being here and for um, taking workshops this with the Workshops for Collage Flowers was has been phenomenal. The sign-up has been phenomenal. And the comments that I'm getting on the Collage Flower Workshop is awesome. You guys are loving it, and I'm, it just makes me so happy. 
Um, and I again, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for purchasing my art. I got emails this week about art going into to bosses and to friends and to um, uh, people who are in need. And it just fills my heart with so much gratitude. I can't thank you enough for um, your constant soul-filling support. Um, and so I just want to say thank you and somebody loves you. Um, I hope that your Sunday is amazing. I hope that you can get some of these things. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, these actually, the tags are also going to be in the um, subscriber resource library. Not with the, with the um, with the little ribbons, but just the tags, and you can download them and print them out and use them if you want. Of course, you can make your own. Um, so I forgot to say that. I, I, I even looked at my list. So these will be free to you in the resource library as well. Okay, now I can say I hope your Sunday is awesome, and I hope that it's restful and creative, and that there is a spark of spring in your step, and um, that you grab some of the, the good stuff that uh, the stencils or the st tags or collage packs, whatever. And I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.